in honor of the theme around the world, we are going to be creating a Chinese dragon. Now, Chinese dragons are legendary in Chinese mythology and folklore. They are often depicted as snake-like legs. And you'll see these puppets in this dragon puppets in the celebration of the Chinese Lunar New Year. For this project, you're going to need as many colors of cardboard paper as you have around the house, a glue stick, scissors, and probably a black marker. You could use a pencil too when you're trying to decide the shapes. Um, an option is I do have a PDF available for cutting out the shapes if you find if you find that helpful. Okay, so the first thing we're going to work on is this amazing spring. So you're going to choose two colors for your spring. They should be the same size. I'm thinking of the red and the blue one for my spring. Okay, so in order to do this, you actually need your paper cut into three strips. So the best way to do that is to actually take your paper and fold it um, in this direction. And then you have, what you want to do is have this size of the paper line up with this size of the paper. So you can kind of check with your fingers and then you're going to fold it along that line. And then you're going to go back and fold this one back towards it. Now it might not be perfect and that's, that's going to be okay. Um, but you're going to do the best you can. So as you can see, this one at the end is going to be a little longer. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and snip that along so that we have all even sides. And then what I'm going to do is unfold this and put it um, along the red one and I'm going to cut along the lines at the same time. Now a really good trick when you're cutting is rather than looking where you are and trying to stay straight and getting stressed about it, look to where you're going. You know you're going to this part of the paper. So look there and then your scissors will do the work for you. Um, and then this one, because it wasn't a line, I'm just going to snip this little bit off. All right, so now do you have three of each color? Amazing. So your first job is to take two of the sheets and you're going to line them up so that they are 90 degrees with each other. Okay? And then I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put glue where the other paper is going to stick. So your job is to zigzag these. So now that I have my red down, I'm going to put my blue down next. And then my red's going to go. And then red's on top, so blue goes over. Red over. Blue over. And as you can see, the blue is now ended. So this is where you're actually going to attach another strip. So I'm going to put a, a strip of blue here. And I'm not going to overlap it entirely, just to here and glue that down. Then I'm gonna put my red, my red down. Same thing, the red's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the red. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there and then I'm gonna place my red down. And then you just keep going. All right, and so you're gonna end up with something like this where you have a little bit of blue and then you can attach the glue, blue one more time. Same with the red. You're gonna put this down. Attach it in the direction that this is facing. Glue that down and then just keep going. All right, so you might be wondering, what do I do when I get to the finish point? So as soon as you get here and then you put the red down for the last time, you're gonna glue these two sides together. So I'm gonna take my glue stick again. I'm gonna glue it in all the areas of it and place that down. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. You have a spring. So this is gonna be a major part of our dragon. Okay, so if you happen to have my PDF of all these different shapes, we're gonna be making this shape next. Now this is kind of just um, a almost kind of oval shape that is used on a quarter of a page. So I'm gonna show you how to do it without the PDF and you can just go ahead and trace things. One of the ways I like to trace is actually to like cut out a shape and glue it onto a page and then I can just cut around, which is really easy. So that's a great way to use this page. Okay, so my dragon face is gonna be green. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna fold my paper in half and then I'm gonna unfold it. I'm gonna fold it in half the other way. 
because what we're trying to do is get the, sh the size of the face. So I know that it's gonna fit nicely on a quarter of the page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out a quarter of the page. Okay, now you can set this paper aside because we will use it later. And then you're just gonna curve around the edges. And I like to flip it so that I make things symmetrical because I find if I've just made that same cut, I can remember it better. Um, but for this one, maybe I'll just continue along. All right, and as you can see, now you've made a, a head for the dragon that kind of works. I might want to make it a little smaller. You are welcome to adjust something like this however you'd like. All right, that feels pretty good. Okay, so now the next step. So the next thing you wanna to, wanna to do is do the fringe for the dragon. So see this in the front here? You're gonna to wanna to make that happen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off, a, right now I have the lengthwise half of a red page and I'm just gonna cut off a little piece that I think is about the right width to come off the bottom. It might be a little wide there, but we'll just make it work. So I'm just gonna make fringe. So essentially all I'm doing is cutting and I wanna make sure that it attaches at the top. It's pretty important because that way it'll be easy to glue on. So just go ahead and keep cutting a line up like that. All right, and then what you're gonna do is just do little snips if you just wanna give them a little, a little trim um, because I don't want it to be all the same. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a trim, trim, but that's really up to you and how you want yours to look. So this is gonna glue down here on my dragon. All right, so the next step, I need white paper, and I'm gonna kinda just mark with my hand or maybe with a little marker about how wide I want those teeth to be. Cause then I can go ahead and cut it out, a little shape. And as you can see, the teeth curve down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a curve on the top of my teeth all the way around. And then I'm gonna go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Egg. And then I found this teeth didn't really work, tooth didn't really work out. I'm just gonna curve that in. I think that might work. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. All right, next up is a snout. I'm just gonna kind of curve in and then loop around and then kind of curve in again and loop around. So those are his fiery nostrils. Now those are a little too big, so I'm just gonna make a shrink. If you have the template, then you can go ahead and trace those if you want the just right size. Um, or if you wanna try to figure out on your own, you're welcome to. So that's looking pretty great. Now I have to decide what color do I want for these fiery, beautiful things on my dragon. All right, so I took the edge of a paper off and then I'm folding it in half because I wanna have the same size on both sides. So I'm gonna make, go kinda up on a curve and then do a whole curve around and sort of loop in and come back out. It sort of looks like a raindrop. Can you see that? And you know what, if this is a different shape, if you wanna do it your own way, if you just wanna use scraps of paper, all these things are totally cool and you definitely can do that. So I'm just gonna add those there. It kinda of looks like a mustache and I'm digging it. Next I'm gonna do this part of my dragon. So I'm gonna curve up and then do one and then up, and then down, and then up to the side, and then around. And I like to have the bottom kind of curved, so I'm just gonna do that. But I folded my paper, so then magically I have two. Amazing. And so now I just need to have two more sets of those raindrops and do my eyes. All right, for the eyeballs, again, fold your paper in half, and then cut. And then kind of take a look. If you decide they're too big, then you're just gonna make them smaller. All right, it's time to glue down. All right, last step is this tail. All right, for this you need long strips of paper and you're gonna go ahead and cut them all the way down till you have an edge to connect. Then you'll roll the tail around a marker. And you'll do that with all of them. And make two. 
And there you go, your very own Chinese dragon.